Let's look at basics of arrays. Let's start by writing general syntax. So data type of the array followed by array variable name followed by square bracket inside that we can specify array size or number of elements to be stored inside this variable. We could even directly initialize this uh, inside flower brackets. One very important thing to note here, the data type should match the data here. You can't have an integer type array and start storing floating point or character values. So let me show you an example. So data type is int, variable name is a followed by square brackets. Now array size is five. So let me remove this equals I'll assign. I'll initialize it later on. So for now, let me print out elements of array R. I'll show you how to print, how to loop through individual array elements and start printing it. So the array start index of array starts from zero and it's, it ends by n minus one. In this case, a of five starts from zero to n minus one, which is five minus one is four. So we'll print out from zero to four which is five elements. So let me initialize this array, one, two, three, four, and five. Oh, I need to declare i here, variable i. So it starts printing the array, individual array elements. So what if we remove this, these things? and try to output the value. It will all have zeros. Simply introduce this flower brackets so that all the elements in that array will be assigned a value of zero. But if you don't have these, then all the array elements will be garbage values like this. Or else you, you have a of five, but you only initialize two uh, input two values that is three and two so all the other uh, spots will be filled with zeros three two zero zero and zero also note that instead of five you could even write an expression like uh, two plus three and have five elements here you could write this five as two plus three which is five ultimately so it works as if you are writing a of five. As you could see, all the array elements gets printed. You could even write multiplication symbol here. So two into three is six. So I let me input one more element here. So let me change this to zero to five. I less than six means five. So these are the six elements, zero to five. So next up, what if you enter more variables than the array size. That throws an error that, a warning that excess elements in array initializer, okay? I also note that you can't have a negative size here, minus five, it don't work like that. So length of an array can be specified by any positive integer constant expressions. It can't be anything other than positive integer value, okay? It can't be anything else. It can be any expression which evaluates to positive integer ultimately. So what's up next? So let's see the size of an array. So we have a of seven. So seven into size of int. Size of int for our machine is four bytes. So seven into four, what's that? 28, I guess. So this entire array occupies 28 bytes of memory. Similarly, let's check for maybe character type data, CH of five. So as we already know, character type data occupies one byte of memory. So five into size of char, which would be five, five into one is five ch of five so it would occupy five bytes of data five into one is five 
So let us check for float. Float also occupies four bytes of memory. Also remember all these data type and its uh, byte allocation is machine dependent. So on your machine, it may show some different values here. So we have already checked for integer, float, character, whatever you input here, you need to replace this size of with this. So let me show it for double two. So double, let me leave it ch itself, the variable name. Let me copy double here. So please visit the link you are, I'm showing you on your computer screen for size of different data type. So double occupies eight bytes. So five into eight is 40. So now let me remove these. Let me have int of a of five. So let me show you a general way of accepting values from the user for array variable and printing out the array elements onto the console window. It's very general. I'm showing it to you because we'll be using the same thing in most of the array programs. So I'll ask the user to enter five numbers and using for loop. So I starts with zero because index in array starts with zero in C. So I less than five means whenever I is equal to four, less than five means four. So zero to four, this for loop iterates from zero to four, which is five times. So scanf executes five times and each time the user enters the value, it gets stored in the address of array variable with, with the different index. So now let me output the value of array all the elements of the array e of i that's it user has to enter values that is individual elements of this array i'll give 5 8 9 6 1 and it outputs to the console window so whenever there is a need to change the array size maybe in this case i want to i want to increase the size of this array variable from 5 to 15 maybe imagine it's a very large program of stack or queues etc and i want to increase the size of my stack variable so if i make it 15 i need to go through the entire source code to replace this 5 with 15 and recalculate all the logic if it involves the size of this array so instead of editing the source file we could make use of macros in my next video tutorial, I'll show how to make use of macros to assign size of this array variable. So until then, stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog and please visit the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code, notes and discussion about this topic. Share this video with your friends on WhatsApp, Telegram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, etc. And please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.